What is an alert? Part two. This time with examples. Let's go. So it's been brought to my attention more than a few times that the original video I did, what is an alert? I did not provide examples. Don't really know why that was, but it's a fair criticism. So this video, what is an alert? Not necessarily the Tom Brady, what is an alert? Alert, alert, where they're changing the play at the line of scrimmage. We are doing alerts in the read. What exactly does that mean? I'm going to give some examples from NFL playbooks, from college playbooks. If you hang around all the way and see what the Davis Aggies were doing back in the day, fire it up. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB school. So the first example we're going to go here is alert down the middle of the field. So this back in the New Orleans days, strong right, the formation, two-jet check is the protection. Check just keeps the tight end in, makes it seven-person protection, slide protection. Z, zebra, double go. What does that mean? That means right here, if it is middle of the field open, right here, middle of the field open, we're going to alert that post. So really more cover two than quarters. Every team does quarters and two a little bit differently. But if we get two safeties, and look at that drawing, Right on cue. Two safeties. We are hitting that post. Go get it. Alert. Changes the read. Now that goes from the outside receivers being normally number one, pick a best matchup, throw a go, all sorts of things, to now we want to play this inside out, one to two. Now if it's closed, you can see that thing turns off into a basic. Right there. Boom. An in route, a hunt, a dig, whatever you want to call it. So that's just one example. Alert. Changes the read. Next one here, still from New Orleans. West Coast world, red right flops, the formation, 20 is the protection here. That's just six person solid protection, be hot off right here. Don't worry about the the Houston, that's just a variation of Texas or quarterback angle or halfback angle, fan, whatever you want to call this route right here. And then we're going to come out here and run the out. So normally that Texas route is paired with a basic or that same alert that we just saw. But now instead, this would be a great quarters call. So we get quarters. What do you think we're going to do? Right here, alert that post. So again, verse specific looks, the read changes. So you come out here and what normally, I think in the old Texas days, would be with that middle field read, that post, with that basic that we just saw in the previous one with I think a curl it's usually paired with or a pivot out here. If we're going to face a quarters team, come out here and let's run the out. The out comes out. That makes that speed out right here. And then we get that big post over the top for a shot home run versus quarter. So again, just changes the read versus a specific look or coverage matchup, whatever you want to define it. Changes the read from really an auxiliary route or a secondary route, third level route to now the primary route. Here's an example of a comeback on the backside. Now I will tell you that in the NFL, if you throw a backside comeback that's an alert, you better hit it. You can also see here that that middle field basic is an alert as well. So just a bunch of different ways to say, depending on what the coverage is, that might turn into the primary. Now it's not just coverage. It can also be matchup. You better love a backside comeback at 20 yards when you're coming back trying to work a curl flat to the opposite side. Now if you hit it, great. But if you don't, you better be able to explain it to your coach, to your play caller, what the hell you were doing. Next one here from New Orleans, empty cluster right. Again, just the formation to get to a three by two. Scat five-person protection. We've got snag to the left, dragging to the right. we got videos on both these concepts. Again, depending on what the read is, you work the dragon, you work the snag. Now, in the West Coast world, when I was in New Orleans, they alerted the corner. Some teams read the corner, high-low the corner. You can read it high to low. You can read it low to high. You can read snag a bunch of different ways. Here, you can again, you can just see versus a specific look, we're going to alert that corner. I don't remember what it was in New Orleans. I would guess it would probably be closed away from rotation man with correct leverage or maybe cover two with that tight cloud corner with a nice leverage safety. Again, lots of different ways to do it. There's no right way to do it. It's just about how you communicate. This is a changes a sec, basically a secondary or a clear route into the primary. This is a cool image from Green Bay playbook back in the day. It's got a bunch of different alerts. So we'll try to go through each of them here. We got alert, alert. We got alert down here. We got a bunch of different alerts. So what do these mean? Again, this is basically the same variation, snag, spot, whatever you want to say, where they alert that corner for specific looks. Down here, we've got dagger, variations of dagger, where again, we're going to alert that what normally is called a clear post versus specific looks. 
You got to really know what the hell's going on on the other side of the field when you only have two people really getting out on primary routes. But again, alert versus specific looks where you've got a bunch of space to go throw that kind of clear diagonal post route. And then again, in this world, we lived in just alerting a specific pressure situation. So alert perimeter blitz. That does not that is not the same alert we're talking about, or really the secondary alert that you see like Tom Brady say, alert, alert, we're going to change the play. This is, hey, just heads up, alert. Watch secondary blitz versus this pass up, pass protection. I like this next image from New Orleans because it, again, combines a bunch of different concepts, but really it has a clear and alert on the system here. So clear alert. Now, this could very easily be an alert. This is a coach's choice. A lot of teams run double stick with an alert, if you can read my scribble. Here it's a clear. That means that he's going to run must outside release outside that outside shoulder of that outside defender to open up these stick routes. But again, that's the difference in language, being able to understand what we're talking about when we're talking reads. Clear is a no-go. Do not throw a clear. Now on the backside, we've got an alert quick out. Again, progression with an option in this world. If you love this matchup back here, you love the leverage, you love the personnel, great, take it. But again, been on offenses, a bunch of different offenses run this play. This could very easily be an alert over here for the clear. Then finally, let's go way back to the UC Davis Aggies. This is, ooh, super early 2000s. This is our old 98. Gotta love it. 98. We got alerts all over the place. What's going on here? Got a little short motion. That's the divide. Right, Z divide. 398. The three was a protection. Set it to the left with the back. Six person slide protection. 398 H. And we've got posts if you're the outside wide receiver. If we bring you down in a split, you've got a corner. So this was how the Aggies did the drive concept. Again, what's normally paired with this drive route, shallow route, runaway with a basic or hunt, whatever you want to call this in route here. MFR, if you depending on what system you're in. Again, depending on if it's man or zone, we had different reads. Man, we are reading the runaway first, one to two to the basic. Zone just flipped. Now it's one to the in two and you can see this little sit down where he sits down here two to this now again this is where things were a little different not alerts now they are alerts we just call them something totally different we used to hit a bunch of these 1a and 1b what does this mean it's a cool way to classify basically two alerts different ways to do it so again 1a quarters zero you love this post come out there take it 1b you like the leverage so when you motion down here does this corner think you're going to run across? Do they have an issue sorting this thing out? Do you get leverage on the corner or on the safety to be able to throw a corner? Hit a bunch of corners from condensed splits from this type of play. So again, just different ways to do it. It means the same thing. That's what I'm talking about when I say you go from one offense to another offense. They are using the same different words to mean the same thing. This is alert. Just in college, I call them 1B, 1A, 1C, even different ways to have certain routes jump to the front of the progression versus certain looks. So hopefully a couple of images help illustrate exactly what I'm talking about when we say alert. And again, it doesn't have to be alert. You can call it anything you want. 1A, 1B, you can call it sirens, you can call it anything. I've, I've seen them classified a bunch of different ways. It's just a way to, I think, make combinations of routes better. Instead of having the read be one to two to run every single time, it can be one to two to run, one to two to three, and then, hey, if we get a certain look, let's make this person live. Let's really pay attention to this matchup. Let's be aware of this route versus this coverage without being able to have to do it every single time. It's a great way to communicate however you do it within your system or however your system operates to be able to, yay, hey, this is just an alert. I know they do this at every single level of football. This is how I want to be able to best utilize all of our eligibles to take advantage and attack the defense. So thanks so much for hanging to the end. I appreciate it. Thanks again. I will see you next time. Have a good one.